this is a dramatic outfit with a very glamorous pose. It's a chiffon dress with a fur wrap. So I've created as much attitude as I can in the face. And those closed eyes do create a sense of glamorous mystery. And I'm rendering sort of what's the latest curly hair. It's like an afro, but it has more real curls in it. It's not quite so frizzy. I start out laying in the tone with Prisma. A couple different colors. Sort of a warm and a cool. You can see I'm using the side of the Prisma and I'm always going very soft with the Prisma. If you press too hard, it gets waxy. You have a build up. Creating a soft outline. I've taken the marker and I'm blending. creating curl shapes as I go. I'm thinking that the hair is always going to be darker closest to the head. Now my black prisma is going back in and creating the shapes of the actual curls. blending with the marker so it's going back and forth between marker and prisma creating the texture and I'm creating or approaching the fur almost like I did the hair I'm using prisma to create the directional lines of the fur to add the first soft tones and underneath the fur it's going to be more in shadow so also the hair is darker and so I'm using a different color prisma to create a cooler tone. Blending the two with a third tone. Now I'm adding some of the obviously darker hairs with a marker and that nice Copic brush tip. It's a nice soft line. And again, I'm, as always, I'm rendering in the direction that the fur is going. I want to do enough lines, but not too much. If I over render, my fur will no longer look soft. 